All right, today we're going to install part number 9463-34 from DrawType. And we're going to install this on a 05 Chevrolet Silverado. First thing we're going to do is get the truck ready to install the hitch. So go ahead and lower a spare tire, get that out of the way, because you're going to need to lean forward over differentials to tighten down the bolts. Next, what you want to do is go ahead and get the exhaust and loosen it up so it gives you a little more working room to install the kit. On lowering the exhaust, what you want to do is kind of pull down a little bit, spray some lubricant in there. Let it work in a little bit, and then you can just go ahead and pry it off. Okay, there's one more towards the front of the vehicle. We'll undo that one too. There we go. Now I'll give a little more work, flexibility to work around it. Our next step is, is going to go ahead and loosen the bed on one side. It doesn't matter which side, but just whatever side you prefer to work on. And there's going to be four of these bolts right here going along through the frame. And we'll, undo, and we'll just go ahead and undo those. And the reason for loosening the bed is we're going to go ahead and put our crossbars in. It gives a little more working room. All right, next thing we're going to do is make room for the hitch. Uh, there's this heat shield right here. It's in the way. It's, going to be, it's made out of aluminum, so it's really easy to cut through. But we're going to cut it right where this cross member is. And then right in front of the shock tower right here in the small part coming out and that'll be give us plenty of room to install our hitch. All right next we need to get the fuel vapor pump out of the way. We just want to knock it around. It'll go back up when we're done. And push that latch in and then it slides right out. And then next we got to do is trim this heat shield here and just pull it down out of the way. All right, next we're going to mark our bed to drill out our hole. We want to start off by finding the center rib. Going from the edge of the bed itself, not the tailgate, and we'll mark out as specified in the instructions. All right, next we'll go ahead and take our tape measure and center it between the fender wells. It's a good idea to go ahead and put a good dimple in it so we can see it from the bottom of the corrugation. So when we put our rails in, you can make sure that it is centered properly. Okay, since we loosened the bed before, we can go ahead and pick it up and get it ready to install our rails. We'll just use a pry bar just to lift it up and put in some wooden blocks. The first thing we're going to do is prepare our rails. So we're going to put our bolts in. This is our front rail, by the way. You can tell by how it dips down here. We'll go ahead and install our bolts and just drop them in place. And put a nut in the back to hold them in place while we go ahead and um, slide them in. On the rail that goes to the back, it actually goes in the slots. All right, we can go ahead and slide our rails in. We'll start with the back one. And we'll just push that back towards the back rail. Just leave, it doesn't have to be anywhere precise right now. Then we'll do our front rail. Next, we'll install our plate. This channel goes in this hat channel right here, which allows it to line up with the existing hole in the frame here. And we'll put our flat washer and our lock washers and nuts on it. Now, we're not going to tighten them or anything like that. Now, we're just getting all the hardware installed. All right, next, we'll install a U bolt. Put it around the frame and out through the holes of the, of the plate. And we'll install a conical tooth washer and nut. When you install the U bolt on the pa uh, driver's side, you're going to find there's going to be some wiring, uh, a brake line, and some more wiring. When you put the U bolt in there, you're going to have to snake it in between the wires. Make sure when you tighten it down, it won't compress against anything. So this attachment point here uses the bolt and a flat block, and it goes from the inside out. like that and then we add a lock washer and a nut once we got our hardware installed we can go ahead and lower the bed back down
It is kind of hard to see, but we'll go ahead and look for our dimple. It's going to be right here. And if we tilt the rails up in a proper position, we can tell that it's pretty darn close to the middle and we should be in good shape. All right, we can go ahead and drill out our hole now. Okay, right now we can go ahead and install the head assembly. And let's push it into place and install our flat washers and lock nuts. And it's also a good idea to have an extra set of hands in there to help push it up while you get the hardware installed. All right, once you have it loosely installed, let's go ahead and snug it down and make some final adjustments to get it centered in the hole. All right, at this point, we can go ahead and start reinstalling our bed bolts, and we can go ahead and just tighten those down. Okay, with our bolts snug down and for a head assembly, let's go ahead and torque those down as specified in the instructions. Right, now we can uh, snug down the bolts for cross members to our frame brackets, and we'll snug those down and then torque them to specs. All right, next we'll do is We'll go ahead and tighten down the U-bolts here. Uh, we'll tighten them down evenly with a hand ratchet so we can get the uh, right, same amount of threads on each nut and then we'll torque them down to their final specs. We'll go ahead and snug down the 5 8 bolt that's in the frame and then torque it down to specs. All right, next we'll drill out the holes for our U-bolts. And the way you want to do this is make sure that the, the part you're drilling into is part of a, a corrugation of a bed that comes down. So on the top side, the U-bolts will fit into the, the down part of the corrugation. And then we're, we're just going to use a half inch bit just to mark our holes. Um, and then we'll just go ahead and drill them out to a quarter inch. Now I go ahead and drill our 9 16 hole for U-bolts from the top down. go ahead and drop in our U-bolts. Now the U-bolts are two different lengths, so use a shorter leg to give you room around the gas tank or exhaust. All right, now we'll go to the back to the bottom of the truck and install the well, spring and hardware. First we'll install the washer. And nut. We'll do that on all four bolts. You want to tighten the, the nuts down uh, about two threads past. I'm going to put a vapor pump back into place. All right, now I can go ahead and uh, reattach the exhaust to the rubber hangers too. Next, we'll go ahead and install our handle. Put it out the side here by a window well, and then push it in. And then our safety pin will go inside there. I'll go ahead and show you how a hide goose works. You pull the lever out to the side, you pull it straight out, pull a little bit to either one side or the other, doesn't matter, until it catches a dentent, let go, and then you can flip the ball over or take it out completely. Alright, that finishes our install part number 9463-34 type.